and then we keep track of that for you. And we also put in either the new employees, the employees that work for your company. And then if this is your passion, if it's something that you want to do, yes. Well, giving uh, in terms of that service, uh, needed service to the customers. And uh, you mentioned that uh, the competition out there. Uh, As the middle of April draws to a near and you still haven't filed your income tax returns, you may be feeling a bit taxed over taxes. Don't worry. On today's 30-minute special, we will provide some tips to reduce tax time stress. Briefly, we will also cover financial matters. To reduce financial stress, you might want to consult with a financial planner to help you take control over your money situation. They may also address emotions behind your money behaviors, manage stress, and change unhealthy behaviors. Hello, I'm your host, Ruben Ramos. On today's special, tax consultant and financial auditor Marvin Smith will join me as we discuss taxes, taxes, and more taxes. Welcome to the show, Marvin. Thank you very much, for Ruben, for having me as a guest. Well, the pleasure is all mine, Marvin. I know that a lot of Americans out there uh, go through the process of, fi of um, filing their taxes, and sometimes the, so many things run through their minds about filing taxes, whether it's separately or, or jointly or, or, or as individuals. But before we get into the topic of taxes, please tell us about your professional background. Uh, well, my name is Marvin Smith. I'm the CEO and founder of Nichols and Dyes Bookkeeping. Um, I've actually, my business been established since 2005. I've been in the profession of bookkeeping since 1997. Um, I work with several companies, uh, private doctors, retail stores, and restaurants. Um, and you can, my, my company information, you can reach me, which, it, which if you need, if any information is uh, Nichols and Dines Bookkeeping Incorporated. The website is www.nadb.biz. The telephone number where we can be reached at is 866-224-3582. And if you'd like to email us, you can email us at info at nadb.biz. All right, great. And Marvin, how long have you been doing this type of business? Well, I've been doing this type of business from a business point of view for since 2005. And personally, I've worked for uh, a private doctor since 1997. So I have uh, over 15 years of experience in this field. Oh, wow, wow. That must be uh, an awesome career that you have, you know. Uh, but it is a lot of work uh, being a consultant and an auditor, and uh, it requires a lot of accuracy, a lot of organization, a lot of concentration. But I'd like to ask you, uh, what are the challenges of your profession? Well, the challenges of my profession is that um, one to provide the best customer satisfaction. One is to have a, cons a consultation with any client to find out what are their needs. So once I find out what the client needs are, it gives me a better understanding of the type of service that I can provide to them. Um, the other challenges are that in my field, there's a lot of competition. You know, um, also there's a lot of small business owners. And the other challenges right now that I'm facing is the economy. Because right now, people are reluctant to spend money or try to seek out services right now because since we have a recession, a lot of business owners are holding back. So I think it's very important that you have someone of my skill and profession to help you save money and help you make money. I see, I see. Well, as you know, tax season is upon us. And uh, for many Americans out there, they do find the process rather stressful. Right. Uh, can you tell us why so many people find the process so stressful? Well, I believe the process, the reason for the process being very stressful is it's a lack of knowledge in regards to finances. And I'm going to give you some examples. There's three holidays at the end of the year. There's Thanksgiving, there's Black Friday, and there's Christmas. And at this time, you find that people spend more money. And also during the year, people are behind as far as their mortgage, their rent, they have uh, college expenses that they have to pay for their children. So they're very stressed out. And at the end of the year, what they're trying to do is they're so behind, they're trying to get a fast tax return so they can catch up on their expenses. So I know that we live in a stressful economy. However, these are some of the factors that play into 
why people are so stressed out. I see. Now, uh, can you provide tips to individuals or couples in avoiding this type of nightmare? Yes, I can. Uh, I think one of the main things is that for anyone, you need to either seek out someone in my profession in the field of accounting, bookkeeping, taxes, or even a financial planner. And once you're prepared and you sit down with someone like myself or whom I just mentioned, then we can help understand what are your needs are. That's very important. And what I will also say is that um, if the way to save on your taxes is if you work on a job and your employer offers a 401k, that will reduce your taxable income. If you have children who you plan on sending to college, then you should invest into a 529. That will reduce your tax, uh, your taxable income. So these are some of the things that I mentioned that can be very helpful for a single person or a couple to reduce their taxable income. I see. And uh, uh, in terms of married couples, uh, should they file their taxes separately or, or, or jointly? Well, in some cases, uh, they should file it jointly because if you file it jointly, it helps reduce your taxable, taxable liability, the tax liability. It reduces it more than filing separately. But if the couple own a business, for example, depending on what type of business it is, if the wife, for example, if she's a, let's say she does here, she's a beautician, and the husband has a job. So when they do their 1040, um, in that case, they will file jointly. But if the wife owns a business, for example, let's say like a corporation, and he owns another business, a corporation, so they should file separately uh, in regards to their taxes. I see, and um, what are the advantages and disadvantages of each? Well, the advantage of filing jointly is to reduce your taxable income. The disadvantage is filing separately and not receive, not reducing your taxable income. Mm, wow, that's amazing. And what about couples that run and operate a business together? How should they file? They should file jointly. Because if you're running your business as a joint partnership, then whatever revenues and expenses have, both of you have incurred. So you should definitely file together. I see, I see. Now, uh, when people come to you and ask for uh, uh, tax help, do they also seek financial uh, um, uh, advice as well? Of course, they go hand in hand. You mm -hmm. can't have one without the other. So when I sit down and talk with someone, the main thing, I try to get an understanding of you know, the person's situation. I try to get to know this person personally so it helps me understand in terms of how I can help them. So they ask a tax question that can also lead into, let's say, for example, bookkeeping or accounting. Mm -hmm. So it goes hand in hand. I see, yeah. And, and it seems that uh, a lot of Americans like to go to one source for their tax needs and their financial advice needs. Right. Now, traditionally, many years ago, uh, services such as financial services and tax services were separate, but now it's becoming more, I guess, integrated. Right. Uh, can you explain uh, to the viewers as to uh, how you could assist individuals in both uh, both both services? Well, in regards to bookkeeping, the definition of bookkeeping is record keeping. If you're a business owner, the most important, how I help is that I keep record of all the income, the operating costs, which is expenses, the cost to do business. Um, I help in terms of, in regards to print out financial reports, letting you know where your business is at, profit and loss statements, balance sheets, statement of cash flow, so these are very important reports that you can look at. And the income statement means that it shows the income and the expenses. The balance sheet consists of your assets, your liabilities, and your equity. And the cash flow gives you like a snapshot of how you're doing, how the business is doing. And on a personal, on a personal, in regards to doing their personal tax returns, um, that's how I assist them in doing their tax returns. I do their tax returns for them and I try to give them advice of how they can plan for next year. All right, wonderful. And uh, can you describe what are the options out there in filing taxes? Well, I mean, you can go to, there's a lot of options. You can go, you can come to my company, Nichols and Dimes Bookkeeping Incorporated. Um, my staff will definitely assist you in your tax deeds, whether it's business or personal. I mean, you have H&R Block, you have Liberty Tax, so there's a lot of tax uh, companies that you can go to to get help. But if you come to Nichols and Dimes, uh, we do 
we provide you with the best service and the most professional and the best service. All right, great. Now, uh, you mentioned the services that you provide. Can you elaborate a little more of what specifically the services that you provide? Well, the service that I provide in regards to bookkeeping, like I mentioned, um, in bookkeeping, we provide accounts payable, meaning that we record and disperse all the payments that comes with the course of doing business, for example, like rent, payroll. Uh, we also provide, we record all the deposits and we make the bank deposits for you. We reconcile all of your accounts. Uh, we also can do the payroll. We can also work with your payroll company like ADP or Paychecks, or we can do the payroll ourselves. We have our own payroll service. Uh, we provide the accountant. Um, I have a staff of accountants on my, my company, which can provide accounting, and they're certified public accountants. Uh, we also provide credit counseling, and the credit counseling means that if you have bad credit and you need counseling, we also offer debit cards, which will improve your credit. So in other words, you're using your own cash to help repair your credit. We also offer business startup filing, and that means that if you want to form uh, a sole proprietorship, a corporation, a C and a S corporation, a LLC, a partnership, so we also provide those type of services. So at Nichols and Dimes, we not only um, have one type of services booking, but we have other services that are very helpful to any business owner or customer. Wow, that's a whole variety of services that yes. your company provides. Yes. Now, you did mention about the business startup and the credit counseling services. Can you tell us a little bit how all those services work? Well, with the business startup, let's say, for example, you wanted to start up, um, let's say, a restaurant. And you come to me, what, I, what my company does is we do the paperwork. You want to form an LLC. So we do the paperwork. Uh, along with the paperwork, we also do the follow-up. We do the research. And within the next couple of weeks, you will receive your package. Um, also, with the, credit, with the credit counseling, what we provide is we provide identity theft. We provide counseling in regards to help you improve your credit by pulling your credit reports and see what's, what's affecting your credit score and helping uh, remove those things that affect your credit. And as I mentioned, we also have the debit card, which are perfect. You don't have to go get a credit card and you don't have to worry about going into debt or ruining your credit because you're using your own cash. And as you make purchases, and you, um, as you make purchases, then what happens is this is reported to the three major credit bureaus. Wow, wow. And uh, in terms of the other services that you mentioned, uh, payroll, is that what you mentioned before, payroll taxes? How does that work? Well, with the payroll is if you have, let's say, someone that does your payroll, like ADP, what we do is we record the payroll for you, which are the payroll taxes, the payroll service, which is the fee that ADP charges, and then we keep track of that for you. And we also put in either the new employees, the employees that work for your company, along with the benefits such as health care, vacation time, sick time. So we keep track of all these things for you. All right, great. Now, Marvin, are you available for speaking engagements? Yes, I am. Um, you can reach me at uh, our company telephone number is 866-224-3582 or you can visit our website www.nadb.biz or you can email us at info at nadb.biz. All right, great. Now, uh, Marvin, I want to ask you, uh, people who are contemplating in doing this as a career, what advice would you give those individuals in terms of pursuing a career in tax consulting and financial auditing? Well, I would say that anyone that's pursuing a career if that's your passion, then go for it. Um, if this is something that you want to do, then do it. Um, what you should do is figure out what you, figure, have a strategy, have a plan. And once you have that strategy, have a plan, then execute it. Um, there's, enough for, there's enough for everyone. Um, and if this is something that you want to do, then go for it. Um, and I believe that if you want to be independent, you want to become a business owner, or if you want to work for someone, then if this is your passion and it's something that you want to do, go for it. I see. Well, it seems that the, the field of tax consulting and financial advice uh, seems to be a booming business nowadays. Right. 
And uh, as you mentioned, uh, you have nickels and dimes bookkeeping, and then you have a lot of other uh, services right. out there that are competing with you. And it seems that uh, this business, uh, it seems like uh, there's not enough of this business in America that right. uh, it seems that uh, uh, Americans uh, need advice in doing their taxes right. and financial auditing. Now, uh, has the business been just as what you expected, or are you kind of becoming a little bit overwhelmed with a lot of requests for these services? Well, I, I enjoy being overwhelmed. Uh -huh. Because that means that um, one nickels and dimes is growing, and that everyone wants our service. When that stops, then I'll worry. But the main thing about nickels and dimes is that we provide honesty with integrity. We treat all our customers with the utmost respect. And we try to provide the best customer satisfaction, better than anyone. And I think one of the main things as a business owner like myself, I try to vision myself as if I'm the next person, as if I'm that person, and what type of service would I want Nichols and Dimes to provide to me. So Nichols and Dimes, we pride ourselves on honesty and integrity. I see. And in terms of um, individuals out there, do you think that uh, their expectations are just uh, exactly uh, correct, or do you think that individuals place more uh, demand on services as they did before? I think individuals right now, the way the economy is, somewhat are reluctant to place uh, emphasis on a lot of services because they don't know who to trust. And I would say don't let that um, stir you in another direction because knowledge is uh, awakening, it's power. It gives you, knowledge helps you in a lot of things and whatever you lack, we're here to provide it for you. Um, like I mentioned, the consultation is free. Free of, free of charge, and I believe that in this time, you need to be educated as far as financially. Not, not saying that you shouldn't wait till you go to college or anything like that, but you should seek out counseling, and I advise that to everyone, even my own children and my own family members. All right, and uh, in terms of your business, uh, you said that, uh, how long have you been in business now? I've actually been in business since 2005. 2005, yes. and uh, you mentioned that your business has grown uh, since that time. Right. Uh, do you think it's grown a little bit too quickly, or do you think it's just growing just the way uh, it should be? It's growing the way it should be, and uh -huh. I'm very proud. I'm very proud of how it's growing, and I plan on. You know, I hope. I know. I know that Nichols and Dives is going to be a major, a big, a major company, uh -huh. but I'm proud uh -huh. of how it's growing. Okay, and uh, uh, something I'm curious about, uh, what distinguish, in, in, in your opinion, what distinguishes your company from another business such as H&R Block? Well, well what distinguish, the distinguish is that my main thing with any tax, anyone that's coming to do their taxes, is honesty and integrity. Um, I'm, not, I'm not trying to make a book. I'm not trying to use someone. Um, and I don't want to promise someone anything. Um, and I'm going to be honest and straightforward with you. I'm not going to try to get you to get like an advancement alone and come to find out a couple of months later that now your loan was more than your return. Mm -hmm. So what separates me from Asian Dollar Block is that we care about the little people as well as the big people. Yeah, that's very important. Right. I mean, that's what distinguishes uh, small uh, uh, financial companies from right. the other large financial companies, right. I guess, because you're tailoring your uh, services to the needs right. of the individual tax right. uh, payers. And uh, it seems that uh, uh, there's a lot of uh, boutiques out there right. that seem to kind of, uh, kind of like giving uh, in terms of that service, uh, needed service to the customers. And uh, you mentioned that uh, the competition out there. Uh, what do you see in the future in terms of the uh, uh, services out there in terms of uh, competition? Do you think it, it will uh, continue to grow or do you think it's going to consolidate at some point? Um, it's going to, two things. It's going to grow, it's going to consolidate itself. I see it on an international and domestic level. Um, I see where it's definitely going to grow. Um, because now you have a lot of franchises, like Liberty Tax Service, H&R Block. Um, so you have so many tax service providers 
uh, establishing himself every day here in the United States or even abroad. So it's definitely going to grow because technology, long, the technology is going to allow it to grow more where you don't need to go to the office no more. You can actually email your tax, your W-2 to someone. They can prepare it in India or China. So I see this thing going beyond what we can imagine. All right, great. Well, uh, just to give the listeners the contact information, uh, uh, please share uh, your contact information with the listeners once yes, again. Yes, uh, my contact information is, remember, Nichols and Dines Bookkeeper Incorporated. Our telephone number is 866-224-3582. Our web, our web, our web address is www.nadb.biz. And our email, our email address is info at nadb.biz. All right, great. Now, in terms of the, uh, the, the, the business for couples and individuals, uh, do you tend to have uh, clients who tend to be more couples or more of individuals coming to you? Um, I have a lot more, more individuals oh. when it comes. All right, okay. And uh, in terms of uh, the, 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 the services that you provide, you said that you uh, provide services and financial services. Mm -hmm. um, uh, tell us a little bit about how you actually provide financial advice to would-be customers. Well, what I, like I mentioned, how I provide financial advice is, for example, let's say you work at a job, and as I mentioned earlier about how can you reduce your taxable income? You know, um, you can get involved with the 401, 401k, mm -hmm. the 403 plan, the 529 college plan. And if you're a business owner, you can set up some, it's called a SEP IRA, mm -hmm. or a Roth IRA. So the advice that I give each client is I sit down and I, get, I ask them questions. It helps me better understand how I, I'm able to assist them, mm -hmm. you know, um, and it's a process. And once I have everything written down, now I understand what type of services that they need. If they have, for example, kids, what I mentioned is, well, why not start a 529 college plan, grow up plan for their children. If you want to send your children to college, this is a great plan to have because not only is it for your children, but it's also helps reduce your taxable income. Um, also, if you're working on a job and your job has a 401k, where that helps reduce your taxable income because you're looking towards your retirement. Um, if you have your own individual retirement plan, that helps reduce your taxable income. So, like I mentioned, is that the main thing is to be able to get the information back from the person that whom you're talking with. And it gives you a better understanding of how you can counsel someone. Because a lot of times, what I won't do is, I understand that everybody's situation is totally different. My reality is not their reality. But if I develop a, per, develop a, a relationship with the person and understand what their needs are, then I'm able to assist them even more. I see. Yeah, in, in order for individuals to share their information, you have to gain their trust first. Yes. Absolutely. Right. And uh, it's, a, it's a process. It, right. it's, it's not something that's easily done because right. it takes um, it takes a lot of, uh, to be a financial advisor, it takes knowledge, right. it takes expertise, it right. takes, uh, uh, you know, understanding where mm -hmm. the individual's coming from, the personality, right. uh, their character. Right. So all of that uh, plays a role on the success of a financial yes. advisor right. and uh, uh, as you mentioned it's a it's a matter of gaining their trust so they can share their information right. with you and then you'll be able to provide a good service to them yes. in terms of their uh, future yeah. now uh, is there anything uh, in particular uh, any types of uh, financial products you might want to uh, recommend to an individual or a couple um, well my advice to any couple individual is there's Quicken, there's also Microsoft Money, there's also certain websites like, for example, bizrate.com. A great person whom I like to follow is Robert Kawasaki, mm -hmm. which dad, poor dad. All right. Um, another great magazine is Black Enterprise. Uh -huh. So what I would suggest that you look at some of these uh, financial websites like Quicken.com, CNN, CNNMoney.com, you have BizRate, 
dot com. You also have the Wall Street dot com. You have Robert Kawasaki. Mm -hmm. um, you can also um, so you have a lot of websites that have a lot of information, and you can read Black Enterprise. You can read the the Financial Times. Um, so there's different outlets for you to read and obtain uh, knowledge. All right, great, great. Well, uh, just one last time, please provide the information to the viewers to contact you. Yes, uh, yes. Again, my name is uh, Marvin Smith. Uh, I'm, I represent Nichols and Dyes Bookkeeping Incorporated. You can reach us at 866-224-3582, or you can visit us on the web, www.nadb.biz, or you can email us at info at nadb.biz. All right. Well, Marvin, that's all the time we have right now. Thank you very much for, for taking um, uh, time to be yes. with us. I know your busy schedule. I know it's tax season, so the advice that you're giving uh, the viewers out there could be very useful in yeah. filing their taxes. Right. And I'm sure that uh, whatever information you gave to the viewers, I'm sure they are going to take it uh, you know, to great stride in, yes. in, in, in researching the information. Yeah. Again, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, Marvin. Well, that's all the time we have now, folks. Thank you very much for tuning in, and we will see you on the next show. Take care and have a good one.